where the American Prodigy, the current CCW Alternative Champion, was going to challenge the CCW World Champion, the Outlaw Jamie McKinnon. However, the Outlaw Jamie McKinnon has made it very clear that he refuses to put his belt on the line and appear at any more shows until this upcoming stampede on January the 20th in Callahan, Florida. He made it very clear, and he said that the American Prodigy is not worth his time in, uh, in the ring. So... Understandably upset, the American Prodigy uh, had some words, which hopefully we'll be able to get to a, a little bit later on. But in the meantime, another situation kind of came to head at this. And that is that the Jesus Freak Logan Stevens, a very experienced and very popular superstar here in CCW, decided that he wanted to put the American Prodigy to the test and see what he was made of. So, of course, without any further ado, let's go ahead and see that match right now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before I introduce his opponent, I just want to reiterate that tonight the American Prodigy was scheduled to face the Outlaw Jamie McKinnon for the CCW Championship. However, the Outlaw has made it very clear that he will refuse to put the belt on the line against the American Prodigy or anybody else until a winner is determined on January the 20th at Stampede in Callahan, Florida. But, but, the American Prodigy is not without an opponent. And at this time, making his way to inside, Abbeville, your very own professional Logan Go wrestling fans, there's the bell. This week's superstars of the ring. Not the main event we thought we'd be seeing is Jamie McKinnon has basically told Continental Championship Wrestling he will not defend the CCW Heavyweight Championship until Stampede on January 20th. So tonight in Abbeville, Georgia, Logan Stevens steps into the main event to take on the CCW Alternative Champion. The American Prodigy. Prodigy already down on the mat. Logan Stevens with the experience in this match. Other men that were somewhat evenly built for height, speed, a lot of impressive uh, move repertoire between the two. Here we go, just the feeling out phase at the start of the match. Prodigy stayed on the arm, versus it twice. Gonna go for a third time. Logan Stevens, too much pressure on that arm. Stevens reverses. Into a hammer lock, into a headlock. Stevens is really kind of wrenching it in here. Great takeover. Referee right there to check and see if the shoulders are down. Prodigy is still kicking out. Logan Stevens wisely, not using a whole lot of energy here, just basically keeping his weight on Prodigy. 
Prodigy doing what he can not to get those uh, shoulders pinned to the mat. Prodigy went to reverse out, went for a head scissors. Logan Stevens quick to reverse. Stevens positioned himself, positioning himself here in the move. Kind of roll over with it. And it it looks like he was going to attempt for a Boston Crab roller, but couldn't get it. Stevens went right back to that headlock, though. Again, Prodigy still kicking out at two. Being very aware to keep his shoulders off that mat. And back to the feet, Stevens with a, a punch to the jaw. With the ropes. Prodigy gets the clothesline, comes back out with an arm drag. Oh, and what a kick by Stevens! And Stevens even let Prodigy drop to the mat. Grab him and still threw him over for a hip toss. Prodigy quickly got out of the way and with a hip toss of his own. Both men still feeling each other out here trying to figure out who's going to get position trading forearm shots. Stevens is going to get the better of it soon reverses. He wets. Prodigy ducked by with that clothesline. Quick kick to the gut and a suplex. By Logan, gonna get only a two count on here. Logan Stevens having a rough time of it as of late in Continental Championship Wrestling. A few shots himself at the CCW champion Jamie McKinnon have come up short. A win here tonight puts Stevens back on the way of getting some momentum, getting another shot at that title. And wow, what a kick right to the spine of Prodigy. Look at him, he's measuring him. Stevens is just watching. There's a second one right to the spine. You can see the red mark from Stevens. The point of his boot connected right into the middle of Prodigy's back. Stevens just waiting for Prodigy to get back to his feet here. And oh, big kick to the chest. Stevens rolled back. He's going to get a two out of it. Again, the American Prodigy. Tonight was going to be the opportunity for championship against CCW champion Jamie McKinnon. That did not happen. Prodigy coming down that corner with a reverse. Stevens hard in the turnbuckle. Prodigy geared up. Big close line. Gaining okay, some momentum. Gets him with a second one. Prodigy out to the crowd. One more. Telegraphing his move. Wow, what a kick to the jaw. Prodigy may be out on the mat, split on the ropes. Only got a two. It's always a disadvantage for yelling to that crowd, telegraph that move, and Stevens caught him with a boot right in that jaw. Stevens taking this match out to the apron. Looks like he's going to attempt to shoot what's in here on the apron. Prodigy stopped the move. Now they're trading punches back and forth. Prodigy again. Just trading shots, blocked it. Finally getting the upper hand. Logan Stevens smart enough to get off the apron. It's a no-win zone. Prodigy from the apron. That double axe handle right across the head of Logan Stevens, and both men are down on the ground. And the referee starting his count. Both Stevens and Prodigy are still fighting from the mat. Prodigy again gets his head bounced off that apron. Stevens rolls in and rolls out to break the count. Oh, what a chop by Stevens. Wow, what an echo here in the arena. Stevens, Stevens uncharacteristically grabbing a chair. Stevens is uh Stevens just putting prodigy sitting down on a chair, giving a quick chop it again, rolls in and out to break the rest count. Stevens is setting him up for something here. Looks like he's gonna call for the knee. Oh little mind games here. He hit the brakes and chopped him again. Stevens is having some fun with the rookie here. Brings him back in the ring. And the American Prodigy. 
not faring as well as he thought he would against Knight. But again, came under the game plan for a whole nother competitor. And Logan Stevens, always ready for action here in CCW, longtime former Southern States champion, taking the rookie to task here. Stevens with those forearms. He's back in the corner. And Prodigy in a bad position up on the top rope. Got a quick little right there. Comes across to the clothesline off that top rope. Gonna get a two out of it. And Stevens again, that kick right to the face of Prodigy. That's three or four now. He has just laid out the American Prodigy with. Stevens going to the camel clutch here. All that weight right in the back, and he's got his hands right underneath the mask and right underneath the jaw. He's been laying those kicks in this entire match. Those clubbing shots. Stevens is just trying to put him away at this point. Stevens rolls him over, he's gonna get a two. Some frustration on the face of Logan Stevens. Trying to keep it sportsman like. Stevens getting this Abbeville crowd into the match. Stevens brings Prodigy back to his feet. Brings now with a backbreaker. Every little slow to get to it, but only gets a two. And again, Stevens is in a ref. I'm sure that was only a two. Prodigy has spent this entire match fighting from the mat. Really needs to get something going here. Prodigy whipped his, whipped his turnbuckle. Stevens lines him up, comes in with a reverse elbow. Looks like he's gonna looks like he's gonna line him up for another one here. Prodigy is on rubber legs here in this corner. Stevens again, just dropping that elbow into the chest, knocking all the air out of the American Prodigy. Stevens with the third time. Prodigy gets out of the way. Goes to the headlock. He's gonna try to take him over, but could not get him out of the corner. Stevens quickly grabbed that top rope. Prodigy though, trying to come back to life. These guys are trading blows. Stevens brings that knee up. Prodigy comes back in with a big clothesline. Still can't get Stevens out of that corner. Tempted the Bulldog, he bulldogs him out of the corner. Prodigy quick with a pin here, too. Only a two. Prodigy with that bit of explosion, that quick offense. Logan Stevens taking a moment to catch his breath. Prodigy has to stay on him from this point, has to get back to his feet. Keep Logan Stevens contained here. Prodigy with the jawbreaker and a quick drop kick into the corner. Hit him right in the hip with it. Logan Stevens, that spinning heel kick, that could be it right there. That connected again. Logan's foot to the jaw and face of Prodigy. Both men are down though. Referee starting his count. I'll give it to the American Prodigy. He's trying to hang in this match as long as he can, but Logan Stevens, the more experienced of the two, is really taking this kid to task. Prodigy trying to will himself back into the match, going to the top turnbuckle here. Stevens quickly. Where the ring goes to the cross of the ring, turns around though. Big high cross body, that could be it. Two. No. Two. Stevens must not have known where he was at in that ring. Again, both men are down. Prodigy. These big moves are taking it out of Logan Stevens. We're almost to an even playing field here. Prodigy back to his feet, goes right to the corner. That's using himself, using the corner more to hold himself up here. Stevens up to his feet. Prodigy went for a code breaker. Stevens reversed out of it. Stevens going for a pedigree. Prodigy reverses out of it. Prodigy with the float over. Prodigy with a three count. Oh, 
What a win for the American Prodigy. Logan Stevens, that's got to be a huge upset. The bad luck of Logan Stevens continues in Continental Championship Wrestling. The American Prodigy, your alternative champion with the win here tonight. CCW. Um, the American Prodigy appears to have uh, gotten a very big upset victory over the veteran Logan Stevens. And uh, I got to tell you, Logan Stevens probably seemed a bit shocked himself by that, that match. But nonetheless, fantastic matches, all of ours here at CCW. Having said that, obviously there was a, a bit of an issue before the, before the match uh, concerning um, the outlaw Jamie McKinnon refusing to grant the American Prodigy his match. And the American Prodigy, clearly upset by this, had a few words to say about that. And uh, he was very open and direct with what he had to say to the outlaw Jamie McKinnon. So let's go ahead and hear from the American Prodigy. Jamie McKinnon, Abbeville, that was my shot. My once in a lifetime shot for the CCW Heavyweight Championship. You ruined it for me. January 20th, Jamie, I'm coming for you. Well, there you have it. The American Prodigy definitely spoke his mind and, you know, visibly upset by the, the um, refusal for Jamie McKinnon to defend the CCW championship against him. And I mean, as a competitor, or, or at least looking from the viewpoint of a competitor, I can certainly understand why. That being said, folks, this is uh, definitely the beginning of something huge. And of course, that big, huge thing would be Stampede. It is coming up on January the 20th, once again, in Callahan, Florida, on January 20th, 2018. And it's going to be a big event. Jamie McKinnon has made it clear that he will not wrestle again until that evening when he would defend the CCW Championship against the, um, the winner of that evening's Battle Royal. So you definitely want to be on the lookout for that. Of course, we've uh, been updating our Facebook page and uh, you know the website as well. So follow along with us and Twitter, of course. And uh, well, until next week, I am your host, Brian Blitz, and I will see you at ringside.